Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God save all. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means Battlebone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarben, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarben? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago. He was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. That woman seems to know me. So, what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. 
They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditional. Wilf only loves what he owns. So, what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? Stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. My boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor. And the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of blouted, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. Eivor, this isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I'll find Wilf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die. I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. I should be cautious around here. Hey. 
All right. Wait here. And stay out of sight. Be somewhere else. All right. Go, Sunin. I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you often did with wealth and your family of marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. 
We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring breadmaker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor... If you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it.
Iron. Are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Eivor. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Guthban. Hadn't heard it in years. It wretches up fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in, and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm, because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyrobin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure. Pleasure to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go.
bad deal, Wiener. The count better be full this time. It feels heavy enough. Oh, you must try my... Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Roosister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedman must owe you something. Such is his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bassam? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress, but your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? They refrain. No one will stop me. <gasps> I'm wary of this abbot, Basil. He is self serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the Scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The Scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded, and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Have a look, Sunan. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver for him. Nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. I need your eyes, my friend.
This place is heavily guarded. Question the orders of the great Van Tetlin. Hey, wait! Jesus! No! No! Protect me! <laughs> You prefer to work in the shadows. I am not who you think I am! Let me go! Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints, protect me! Silence will save you, Titman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. <laughs> Such is our way. But oh. Till the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar! Uh, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedman pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's Priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedmund has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us then. Perhaps I should just kill you, here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes, to, to storm the walls, you need Danes. There's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I, acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Wooster. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Wooster was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We will send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Do what you want with him. I won't risk our plan on the shambling of this fool. Come, Brother Shergar. And perhaps today would be the time to consider a vow of silence? An army of Danes are all we need to take the fortress. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have the other considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basim. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will. And harder still, to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shergar was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps. Perhaps. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief. <laughs> Perhaps not. Show me what lies ahead. Perhaps not. I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. His prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. You have little patience for chittering squirrels. 
And yet I allow you to squeak in my ear, along all the roads and byways of Kent. Because you are wise, and you see the same qualities in me. That must be it. You will We're not nearing see the sunrise, swine Let's hope there are days enough. Die! Our lives, friend. These Saxon horse sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now should chance to head back. March with us on Rochester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our Viking at Hort. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I'll remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham. Remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, Meet me on the shore near Rue, sister, with the ships. Ah, uh, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a uh, hidden one, always on the move? No, mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal, we believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home, no. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family, but I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Essen. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. Trust with anything. A man 
man you trust with anything can take everything. Bruce's sister will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Wounds matching those made by sex and weapons. I know where to look for my prey. You have been avenged, my friend. This area is off limits. this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be in sight.
last word, Hayden.
With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. 